Hello there, my beautiful Pisces friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful and excited to have each and every one of you here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. All right, everyone, we have the new moon, which is in the sign of Scorpio, gracing our skies on November the 1st. Now, this is a period where spirit asks us to dig beneath the surface, to tap into our hidden desires and uncover truths about ourselves. It's a time for introspection, a time for renewal, and also to embrace new beginnings. Now, what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with a guardian angel oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card. Now, spirit called me to use this deck for you today. It's called Into the Lonely Woods. And the reason why they had me choose this deck is because a lot of times when we're doing introspection, we're going through a renewal energy, we're kind of doing it it on our own. So this is the purpose for this deck. And then I'm going to close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Pisces, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this new moon's energy. All right, we got a card that came out, everyone. Power. You're being blessed with the energy of power. Remember that we naturally harness the energy of power as well. So the message of this card for you is keep in mind that your power is not something you need to conquer or achieve. It already exists deeply within you. Be aware of it and wield it. You are born to do great things. So once again, Pisces, keep in mind that your power is not something you need to conquer or achieve. It already exists deeply within you. Be aware of it and wield it. And you are born to do great things. So you have the power to do great things here, Pisces. This is what spirit is wanting you to do is great things. And that power within you is going to reveal to you what your purpose, what your path is in life. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what else is coming through. All right. Page of Pentacles. Look at this, an opportunity that is going to reveal a new journey in your life. I feel there's a lot that you're meant to learn here. I don't know if any of you have come across an opportunity recently, something new that you have started. Know that this is going to be a journey that is going to be worth um, walking through. Okay, so the page of Pentacles to start. We have the Ace of Cups. Look at this. So we have a journey, a path that has revealed itself that is tied to your heart center. This is something that you're passionate about that you're really going to enjoy doing. This is where spirit is opening you up to so many different kinds of blessings that are coming in through this new journey. Okay, so the Ace of Cups. And we also have the Judgment card. Realizations here, awakenings. We have mass awakenings happening right now in the world. I feel some of you are going to be in the midst of this where something big is revealing itself to you. And I feel this is something that is coming from the hidden depths of yourself. Something that is going to reveal itself through the shadows. And um, it's going to change your life. This is what's happening here. Now, the Judgment card is a major arcana card. This energy is going to be prominent in your life. However, it tends to be in the background. So some of you are going to feel this energy intensely while others you're going to feel this subtly. Now, I also want you to use your own intuition with my reading today. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. This is going to strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So wow, powerful things are going on in your lives here, Pisces. You're going to have to share with me if you're feeling these energies in the comment section below. So before I get started, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising and Venus signs. All right. So we've got the number 11, 1 and 20. I don't know if any of you are seeing these numbers somewhere in your life. This is the confirmation of this reading today, but also the number 111 and 120. 
Okay, and some of you may have been born on the 11th. Perhaps you are a life path number 11. Okay, that's also coming through. All right, so we have an opportunity here, something new, a new journey that you're about to embark on. Some of you have already started embarking on this journey. But what's happening here is I feel some of you have received some sort of money, some sort of a financial opportunity, or you have saved money to do something on the side in your life. This could be a passion project, this could be a business, this could be a new job, this could be a new relationship, whatever this is, you're at this point right now. It's a, I feel like it's a blank canvas for you. Sometimes these blank canvases can be scary because it's like, okay, we got this blank canvas, now what do I do with this, right? And I feel that perhaps you're looking for guidance, clarity, or even a manual around how am I supposed to do this thing that's shown up in my life or something that I'm creating, right? I feel, um, this has been something that's been on my mind recently and I wanted to share with you Pisces and I feel it's tied to the page of Pentacles is, you know, when we have things that are created by humans in life, we have manuals, we have guides, we have support and technical support, right? But when we humans come into, into the world, there is no manual for humans. There is no instruction manual on how, first off, when we have a child, you know, how we're meant to uh, like, what do we do with this child? And then what do we do with ourselves? Like, what if something goes wrong? Do we have some sort of tech support or something that helps us um, realign ourselves, right? Right now, within this energy of the Page of Pentacles, all of this is being shown to you. You're starting to realize or you're becoming aware that you are your own manual, right? You are your own um, instruction. The instructions are coming from within you. And this Page of Pentacles is giving you an opportunity to actually tap into that information or access that information or knowledge that you need in order to move forward. And it's through you actually being curious and exploring some of the things that are possible in your life around some sort of a business, around a project, right? So when I first started my YouTube channel, I know I use this as an, as a, an example all the time. It's the best one I got, is I didn't know anything about YouTube. I had an opportunity, I could see it, it was a blank canvas for me. I didn't know anything, so I was like, okay, where do I start? So I started learning about YouTube, like how, what do I need to do? Okay, first let's create a logo, let's create a channel, what is it about, all these things. And it was one step at a time. And I didn't stop. I just kept creating and all of a sudden this map revealed itself. I feel this is happening for some of you around something specific in your life. And what Spirit wants you to do is to be an active participant in the co-creation of this experience in your life. This is something that you're passionate about. I'm getting a passion, something passionate that you're, you're meant to follow, something that makes your heart sing, Pisces. All right, I know that some of you have faced challenges. This is showing up in the background. We have some mountains here. Some of you are still facing challenges, trying to overcome things and trying to make things work. You're gonna make things work here. Don't give your energy to the noise of the world. Don't give your energy to the noise around you, right? It's really important that you focus on what it is that you're trying to create in your life right now, Pisces, because there's something big that is happening for you right now, something that is revealing uh, a purpose. Um, I'm not even explaining that properly. I feel that um, whatever you're experiencing right now is unraveling this hidden part of yourself that was deep down in the depths. And it, it's now coming through and it's laying itself out like a blank canvas for you to work with. And there's this really good feeling around this. I feel that there's something that you've been desiring to experience, desiring to do in your life. And you're finally getting the opportunity to actually go ahead and do that. Right. And maybe some of you, some of you, it's coming in as a financial opportunity. Maybe you had applied for a loan and that was approved. Now you have this money to work with. Perhaps you were looking to buy a home, a bigger space to maybe set up a studio, right, for your YouTube channel or an online platform. Perhaps you were looking to buy equipment in order to film or do something. It's that kind of energy. And now you're actually able to access this that is allowing you to progress forward which is allowing you to experience life through this new um, new experience. This experience is a new experience. Okay, so this is what's happening here with this. And you know what? You are so powerful with the way that you're able to understand things. So just like this woman, he, she has a light around her head. You are, um, you are awake, you are aware. Okay, know that you are awake, you are aware. 
and all of the guidance, everything that you need, you are open to this. Spirit is there communicating with you. So pay attention to signs around you. What they're showing me are birds that are flying up in the sky. This could be a hawk. This could be an eagle. This could be a raven, but I'm seeing a bigger bird. This could also be a vulture. Some of you might be seeing vultures. I feel this is a sign that things are about to actually elevate in your life, that things are expanding. And what's happening is you're going to see the bigger picture around what that is for you through the page of pentacles. Okay, and there's a lot that you're going to learn. So what's happening is there is this opening. There is a new chapter that is beginning. There's an old cycle that some of you have come through that may have been a tough time for you. I'm getting a lot of years in something specific, uh, area of your life that's finally coming to a close, that is coming to a completion, a finale there with it, right? And you're now entering this new energy, this new space. I really feel that some of you are walking into this new energy with your heart full. This is where your energy is topped up. I feel you're really happy, Pisces. Uh, and I feel that you're trying to create happiness and peace in your life. And you're allowing yourself to surrender to life. You're kind of like, okay, I'm going to let the weight off and I'm going to flow with this new energy that is coming in. And it's just like this cup. There's like water flowing outside of it. I feel you're now allowing things to flow through you. Any kind of emotions that you may have felt before that created turbulence within you, you're learning how to manage and actually calm those down. Learning to work with your dark and your light energies right? It's a new beginning. It's a brand new day. And I'm getting the sting song. Every time I say brand new day, right away, I hear sting singing in the background. Um, brand new day by sting. I don't know if any of you are wanting to be on a stage. I keep getting a stage coming up for you quite a bit here, Pisces. And maybe this is because there's somebody specific that is asking spirit for guidance around how you can make this possible. I'm seeing some of you wanting to be in the public eye. This is coming through this card as well. This is really interesting. Um, this is a really big cup. This is emotional fulfillment. This is satisfaction. This is wholeness. This is oneness for you. There's a collective energy in here as well. I feel some of you are looking for deep connections and bonds with people. I'm also getting this brand new journey, this blank canvas where there's another energy that enters your life. This could be a soul mate energy an energy of someone that is meant to complement you right it's an energy that integrates with you and works in union with an even greater power on that path forward right there's a lot of beautiful things that are going to happen through this and this is an energy of nurture it's also an energy of renewal some of you have gone through tough situations which you're coming out of and this is where that regenerative renewal energy is at play so spirit wants you to allow yourself to heal, allow space and time for yourself to heal through the things that you have gone through. We have major awakenings that are happening. And when we go through awakenings, these are usually incremental awakenings. We don't all of a sudden just have this big awakening and we understand everything all at once. It happens incrementally. So some of you are going through incremental awakenings where there's information or things that are coming out. We're already seeing this in the world, right? And that is shifting our view, our perception of the world, our perception of ourselves, our perception of someone else, our own life. So this is where you want to be patient with yourself. Take care of yourself as you're moving through this and allow yourself to re-energize. Allow yourself to heal and then re-energize. Re I'm getting a big vitality sign coming up here in my mind's eye. It's really important that you take care of yourself and your own energy because the more that you're topped up, the more energy that you're able to give out there, everyone. Okay, so... And, you know, whatever this project is, whatever this new adventure is, whatever this new um, energy is that you're working with that's entering your life, it's going to need all your energy. And this is also a heart-centered card, right? So Spirit is calling you to open your heart up wide. They want you to be a little bit vulnerable here. You don't have to be completely vulnerable either. But Spirit is calling some of you to drop your guards here and allow yourself to feel, allow yourself to experience rather than holding on to something and guarding your energy. So I'm getting someone that was hurt in the past that needs to release that um, weight. I feel there's a heavy weight on your heart that you have to release. And I'm getting somebody that is going through some sort of a breakthrough in their healing journey. And all of a sudden you're feeling these emotions just flowing out of you. You're able to communicate better. You're able to express yourself in a way that you never have before. So I do feel there has been a breakthrough in this 
um, shell or this like wall or barrier that you had created within yourself it has broken now and now you're on this brand new journey it's an opportunity it's a second chance for some of you to actually experience life in the way that you want to in the way that you always desired to right so we've got all of these emotions that are coming out so work with your emotions here everyone this is like some of you that are going down deep into the depths of your heart trying to understand even yourself and you know why is life the way it is or what more can I do to experience what it is that I'm desiring to experience and all of a sudden it's happening for you and within that we have a judgment moment a judgment day judgments don't have to be um uh, negative right I feel this is an awakening this is what I'm getting here with this card like we're going through some mass awakenings right now you're going through your own awakening Pisces and I feel that you're surrounded by angels you're protected and you're safe as you're moving through whatever it is that you're moving through now there's a lot of signs around you spirit is making it very clear that you are going through what you're going through so pay attention to some of the movies that you watch some of the tv shows that you watch things that are happening around people around you because it, it, what's happening to you is somehow like being mimicked or reflected to you through other things in your external world right and you're going to hear the sound of this it's like the angels kind of blow their trumpet this way and whatever's happening you're able to notice and see it because maybe you're going through it yourself right this is how I feel things are happening so because you're able to see that because you're becoming aware of that you're starting to go inward to see okay you know what I do this thing too and I don't like what I'm seeing so I'm going to change this within myself right this is the energy that's coming through I'm also getting fear of judgment here maybe you're holding on to some sort of judgments um, of, of people like maybe there's fear of doing something or embracing an opportunity where you can learn and grow because someone is saying something that is working against your desire I don't want you to give any of that weight or your energy when I first started my YouTube channel I had a lot of people tell me that YouTube is really hard to do that it's saturated and um, they didn't believe that I could do tarot they're like oh you're more of a business person rather than a spiritual woo woo whatever kind of things I was being told and I was like you know how do I know that how do you know that I don't know unless I try so for me that judgment moment that realization was when I tried and I was like wow this is way harder than I thought but it's not something that I'm incapable of doing I'm definitely going to do it right I'm very competitive <laughs> and I'm competitive with myself and if someone tells me I can't do something I'm going to show you that I can actually do it right so it's a good thing I feel like in my own life I challenge myself because I say you know if I can't do something if someone tells me I can't do something I'm going to prove it wrong and I don't know if I can do it or not unless I do it myself right so I feel some of you are going through these kind of energies right now where either you're wanting to prove something to someone else or you're wanting to prove something to yourself this is going to be that moment that kind of sets the tone around what it is that you're experiencing or what it is that you're going to experience in your life now I feel there's going to be some profound truths that are coming out in your life something that someone wants to share with you that they've been holding on to for a very long time you're going to experience this in your life here Pisces and it's something that you have already sensed something maybe you already know that you've kept hidden as well within yourself and when this whatever this is is revealed to you you're going to say like I already knew that but thank you for sharing this confirmation with me and whatever happens with that happens right so what I'm getting is this cycle that is going to be closed and I feel you are the one that's taking the key and you're closing it and you're kind of chucking the key because there's no need to go back to that this is what I'm seeing here in my mind's eye is someone closing the door locking it and chucking the key away and walking away okay and this is that judgment moment for you as well the other thing is um, I'm getting people that have passed on that have been showing up in your dreams I'm getting even like ex lovers or someone from your past that you're dreaming about that maybe this person has shown up in your dream two or three times and the reason why you're experiencing these dreams Pisces is because this is a release of energy these are things that are deep down within you that are now starting to rise and evaporate and a lot of times when we go through these things is they show up in our dreams 
right? This is what I experience. It'll come up and then it just leaves. And the more of that stuff is in you, the more of that you're going to experience through your dreams. Maybe you're thinking about someone, reminiscing over something. Um, and then there's some sort of a truth is also coming through that, like you're starting to realize something about a specific person from your past that you didn't realize before. And all of a sudden, it, it, it's making sense of why things didn't work, why that experience happened in your life, what you came through with it and who you become now because of it. Okay, so lots of profound changes that are going to happen through these realizations for you, right? So it's opening you up to a beautiful new path, right? Look at this. Your heart is going to sing. You're going to feel a lot of emotional fulfillment here. And this is necessary, the judgment moment for you. Okay, it's going to really open a door for you and allow you to walk in, in that true essence of yourself, in that clearing of whatever weight or darkness you were carrying, okay? So what I'm going to do now is pull a bonus card from the Into the, lo lo Into the Lonely Woods. Sometimes when we go through these experiences, you know, no one else knows what it is that we're going through. Only we know what it is. So it can feel lonely sometimes. And this is why I feel Spirit has called me to use this deck today. So let's go ahead and see what it is that Spirit wants to share with you through this deck, Pisces. So we are getting for you to walk the lonesome road. And the number one on this card. So to walk the lonesome road. Some of you might be resonating with this image. We have uh, some ravens here, butterflies as well. We have some leaves in the distance. So that's uh, coming through here. And the number one. Now, some of you might be a life path number one. Perhaps you were born on the first or you're seeing a lot of number ones around you. Again, this is a confirmation of the message of this card. So let's see what it is that spirit wants to share with you through this. So foolish, they say, to walk this strange path. Loneliness will become your only companion, they say, as you take those first steps on the lonesome road to your own self. This is not adventure, no indulgence, no needless seeking. This is a pilgrimage of the soul and the time you spend on the path you have chosen, which, which truly has chosen you, may make you weary. And there could be doubt and there will be moments where your only companion is the voice inside your head. And that is the point, that voice in your head. For when you hear that voice clearly for almost the first time, listen, speak with it. See what you have been saying to yourself with each footstep. Watch the words become more encouraging, loving and filled with self-love. So look at that. What a powerful message for you today. So let's go ahead and pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you, Pisces, a taking steps. Spirit is wanting you to start taking steps. One, two, three, four. If you're seeing these numbers in this sequence anywhere in your life, this is a confirmation of this message. So they're wanting you to start following the master plan. They want you to have a plan for your life, Pisces. They want you to map it out. They want you to have a goal. They want you to have a desire. All right. You are aligned to your goals. Know that spirit is sending the right people, the right circumstances, the opportunities, resources, whatever you need. They are aligning you to them. You're going to see yourself making progress. You are going to see yourself making progress. They're wanting you to walk the path of faith here as well. And consistent action is needed. Consistent action. All right, everyone, I'm super excited to announce to you that my sister-in-law Katomi has put together her Christmas ritual box. Now, these are available right now. I have the link for these in the description box below. This is a protection box. There is a purpose behind this. It's going to come with full instructions on how to use this kit. It comes with two candles. Each of these candles have a stone. One of the candles actually have a tassel, okay? The stones in these candles are going to be consecrated, so you're going to put intentions in these candles and you're going to be able to carry these stones around you after the fact. Now, there's only a limited supply of these, everyone. So the deadline for these, the last one you can order is on December the 5th. And we wanted to get these out early because last year we sold out of them. So again, secure yours today. I've got the link for these in the description box below. So this is your message. This is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.